The K-Rain RPS 75 Rotary Sprinkler is ideal for watering areas between 22 to 51 feet. In this video, you will learn how to set and adjust the RPS 75 rotor and learn how to change a nozzle. This rotor is adjusted from a right start position, meaning it starts from the right and rotates counterclockwise and then returns. Let's first look at the indicators on the rotor head. Rubber cover, keyhole, nozzle arrow, arc adjustment slot. And now the parts of the rotor. Riser, turret, nozzle socket, nozzle, nozzle retention screw, can. There are three easy steps to setting the arc adjustment. Find right start, adjust the right side of the arc, adjust the left side of the arc. Place your fingers on the top of the rubber cover and rotate the turret all the way to the left until you hear a click. Then rotate the turret clockwise until you hear another click. This point is the right start position. The right start position is a fixed position and does not change. If the right start position is not aligned with the location where you want the water to start, there are two options to easily adjust the start position. Repositioning the can on the fitting, or removing the internal riser assembly to reposition. Turn the rotor can and the fitting it is screwed onto either left or right to the desired start position. This may require temporary removal of the soil around the rotor to allow you to grip the can. Option 2. Unscrew the top of the rotor counterclockwise and remove the internal riser assembly from the can. Once removed and with the turret already at its fixed right start position, reposition the riser assembly so that the nozzle arrow points to your desired watering start position. Then return the riser assembly back in the can and screw the top on clockwise. The RPS 75 can be adjusted to any desired arc between 40 and 360 degrees. While holding the turret at the right start position, insert the plastic end of the key into the arc adjustment slot. Turning clockwise increases the arc set. The key will stop turning, or there will be a ratcheting sound when the maximum arc of 360 degrees has been reached. The nozzle retention screw, also known as the breakup screw, is used to adjust the distance of the spray. Using the metal end of the key, turn the breakup screw to the desired distance. Your K-Rain RPS 75 rotary sprinkler is now set and ready to run. The RPS 75 comes with a pre-installed 3.0 nozzle. Other nozzles are available allowing flexibility in system design. The following steps demonstrate how to change a nozzle. Using the hex end of the key, loosen the nozzle retention screw. Do not remove the screw. Insert the plastic end of the key in the keyhole on top of the turret and turn the key a quarter turn to ensure that the key does not slip out of the keyhole. Firmly pull up the entire spring-loaded riser to access the nozzle socket. Using a pair of needle nose pliers, pull on the nozzle prongs to remove the nozzle. Replace the nozzle with a new nozzle. Make sure the nozzle number is visible and the nozzle prongs are up to easily fit the retention screw. Then tighten the nozzle retention screw. 